Hello, everybody. So today we're checking out the Mobila 71S Express LRS version with F4 5 controller, X12 uh, X12 4 5 controller, and this is the analog version, 400 milliwatts. And this is, in my opinion, one of the best whoops you can get because. Uh, also leave a comment if you have this whoop and uh, if you want to get it uh, leave a comment telling me why you want it or telling me what you like about it if you have it and uh, yeah let's get into it uh, okay so it's rocking the 0802 20,000 kV motors just like I said 1S 400 milliwatt uh, Express LRS, so I can go. I've seen people go a kilometer. I'll see in my flight how much I'll flight time I'll get, uh, flight distance. I mean, mine uh, unsoldered uh, cable, like the cable wasn't uh, it broke off and I had to solder it. So, this is why I have this uh, electrical tape over it. And in the box, you get the drone, you get an extra canopy, you get some stickers and some spare props. These are 1.5 millimeter holes, uh, so make sure you get uh, those if you're getting extra ones. Special stickers, Happy Model sticker. And you get this bad charging cable thing. You can charge four batteries and you need to plug it in. You can't use a for as but this is not for a battery. This is to plug into a, ba a balance charger. So if you don't have a balance charger, you basically can't charge with this. You need to buy either a USB one or this one. This is what I recommend. Uh, this can, you can charge six batteries at once. And it has an XC60. You just plug any uh, uh, three, the six, 3 to 5 S I think, 7 to 25 volts and or you can plug in a 12 volt DC supply and also outputs a USB which is great and it gives you here on the screen it gives you the information on which uh, which how many how much voltage each cell has also there are lights here and there are adjustments here you, so you can adjust if it's uh, a lipo high voltage or just a lipo these are lipo high voltage you want it to the right and this up so it charges the fastest but yeah enough of me rambling i, I would take this out because it's uh, just a bad presentation of a box uh, this is what the uh, mobile light box looks like and this is much a much better box and you get a much better everything you get this this compartment you get uh, also, also, I'm selling this on eBay, so if you're interested, contact me. Uh, this battery... You get this battery and uh, some instructions, actually, and uh, you get a USB... I don't know where it is. Ah, uh, it's somewhere in there. Okay, here it is. You get this USB charging cable, charging... You can charge just one battery, but you don't have to buy anything extra. And like I said, you get a battery with the Mobilite 7, with the Mobula, you get extra two, I think. And with the Mobula 7, you don't get up a single battery, so you have to buy batteries. And I'm letting this one go because this one is only, uh, it's only like, uh, what's it called? 200 milliwatts and it's on FR Sky, it's not Express LRS. And yeah, now let's go into uh, Beta Flight and set it up because uh, it comes with Express LRS 2.0. And if you have an Express LRS 3 uh, TX, so transmitter, you won't be able to bind it to this. So you need to up the, update the firmware on this one to 4.4.2 that has uh, Express LRS v, V3.0 on it and you can uh, then bind it and I'll show you how right now also just a quick mention this comes this comes with a you can put 660 milliamp hour batteries in this one so it flies up to 10 minutes so this is a best outdoor loop uh, because it doesn't 
it's not as good as the Mobile 8 for outdoors, but it gets the job done and uh, it will fly for a longer time than the Mobile 8 and the batteries are cheaper and with the Mobula 6 you only get like 3 minutes of flight time outside which is really bad but the Mobula 6 is best for indoors just make sure you get the blue or uh, red, uh, blue or uh, green one because those ones are the Express LRS and they will go far further and they have 400 mW uh, VTXs on them so yeah that's just my piece of advice uh, so you know which one to get and if you really want an outside flyer get the mobile uh, happy model uh, cross crush uh, 35 that's like 130 dollars so not much more than this and it takes 4s batteries which are more expensive of course but you get much a much faster quad and it's a 3.5 inch quad for that price i think that's an amazing value for a first quad or get this one, this one is also great if you're not sure if you're afraid of flying around people and st stuff like that so yeah okay so you're gonna wanna open up beta flight and uh, connect your drone to the computer then hit update firmware and auto detect you see it's detecting the right uh, type of firmware here crazy B F4 X1280 that's the firmware you want you would just uh, hit load online and you would flash firmware but I'm not gonna do that because I've already done that and you don't need to do this uh, this is just if you want if you don't want to um, if you want your express LRS to be on version 3 so if you if you have a version 3 express LRS the the, the mobile will not bind to it because it's default on version 2 because it comes shipped with 4.3.1 which is version 2 express LRS that's why I'm doing I'm, I'm telling you to update it so you can bind it and then basically in the ports tab also you want to uh, calibrate accelerometer just put on a flat surface uh, then in ports don't touch anything in configuration I put it to 8k accelerometer on nothing fancy here wire and battery nothing fancy uh, presets uh, yeah and this is what you want uh, to this is crucial for this is what you need express RS 250 Hertz or any any uh, like Hertz you want to run if you want to run 500 hertz you can download 500 hertz but i suge suggest 250 hertz because uh, that will give you the best range of performance uh, so you just uh, type here express Ella, express uh, and you will find it right here and then you will click it and uh, select single cell uh, exp SPI because it is on the flight controller it is not uh, it is not a serial separate RX and you can leave everything else uh, on, on the default and just pick you press pick and it will be uh, selected and then into PIDs you can just copy this uh, move these sliders like, like I have a you can just pause the video here and this is the default ones also this and in rate profile this is not the default this is the ones I use and I also have throttle expo which I recommend to put to 0.4 uh, which was suggested by that guy from Joshua Bardwell's video uh, on tiny whoops and that really helps to keep the quad that really helps to with throttle control receiver you're gonna want to select express RS. if you do not have express RS here go back into the configuration tab uh, no the presets tab and search for express RS uh, 250 hertz like I said and select Express LRS, telemetry, and if you, everything is moving correctly, I don't have a radio connected now, but everything is moving correctly, you're all good. 
and then in the mode just uh, set an arm switch, an angle switch, a beeper, even though the beeper on it is very quiet, I still set it. And the turtle mode, flip over after crash, I have that all set up here. It's pretty simple and uh, oh yeah, very important, uh, use the shot 300 and motor direction is reversed. Uh, make sure that is uh, checked so motor rever motors need to be reversed and like this. So this one is spinning, motor 1 is spinning uh, counterclockwise and motor 2 is spinning clockwise. That's how it needs to be. And make sure you save and reboot that. In the OSD you can add whatever you want to, to your goggles, uh, video transmitter. Oh yeah, I didn't configure this, uh, so it's just running the default, but I'll show you how you would configure this. But let me just grab a file online and I'll be right back. Okay, so it looks like you just have to go into ports and set the uh, UART2 to VTX TBS Smart Audio, save and reboot. And then go into uh, video transmitter. If you don't have video transmitter, you select uh, here, over here, enable expert mode. And then it will set everything for you. And you can set it to uh, the power levels, but these are not the power levels we want. We also want, this is the manual. I'll give a link to you uh, in the description. Uh, this is the manual, so we want 10 0 to RCE, so 10, so this is probably pit mode, 10 0, and then 2 RC, RCE, 2100 100 and lastly we have uh 20 is this 26 yeah 26 400 okay save and now also I said earlier that it, you should set it to 8 gigahertz, 8 kilohertz, but uh, it says in the manual to set it to 2 kilohertz, so do that. And save and reboot. And yeah, that should be it. Now you now you just have to bind it, which is done here in the receiver uh, tab. Just bind receiver and you can bind it there and you need to Lua, need also the Lua script for the drone and everything so if you don't know how to do that also make a video on that uh, but now enjoy the flight footage